Hey guys, almost done with Dark Souls, so today I'm looking at the Black Dragon Calumet. This guy's an optional boss that you find in the Royal Woods. This is in the Artorius of the Abyss DLC. He's an interesting guy because you have to do a couple special things to be able to actually fight him. Well, not actually fight him because you can fight him before this, but he's just a pain in the butt and it's not worth it. So, this guy, Black Dragon Calumet, the first time you come to this area, he just breathes fire and kills you instantly, so you don't want to do that. I mean, he doesn't necessarily kill you instantly, but he pretty much just swings back and forth flying in the air, and you can't do anything. So you have to go and get uh, a, the giant that's in the tower in the Coliseum to help you out. Just speak to him a couple of times after you get the key to open up the gate to where he is, which is in, like, I mean, McCazit in uh, the Willisiel Township. So... This guy is like all the other bosses in this game, he is fast, he's aggressive, and he takes up a lot of space. He has a lot of special attacks too. The big thing about him is that the breath attack that he has is magic based. It's not uh, fire, it's magic. So don't get anything that defends against fire, it won't do any good. Cool thing about this guy, the one probably the saving grace of him is if you have a fast dodge, then you'll be able to dodge all of his attacks. Some of them are definitely harder than others, but you can avoid them all. There it is. Don't try to counter him because he likes to do that. Yes, this is a good one to get a hit in. When he does the breath forward breath attack. Also when he does that one where he reared up where I hit him before. Here's another one that's also good for abusing him. Yeah, see, he turns. He always flies up and turns around. He does that a lot, and that's a good spot to get him. I get him here. Now, when you get under him and do an attack, don't stay there too long, because he might hit you with his weird grab attack. Basically, like when he does an ability where it like looks like his uh, gem on his forehead is shining, you don't want to be under him when he does that, because it's kind of a grab attack, and he gives you this negative status effect called the Mark of Calamity. You get the Mark of Calamity, for 60 seconds you take double damage. So you don't want that. If you can avoid it, all the better. Here's a, where he just stops around. Probably the best reward, the best and most important reason to fight this guy is to get his tail. And getting his tail is hard. See, because of magic damage, actually doesn't do that much. If it was fire, it would probably be worse. Now, I believe you can follow up on that. You can just, if you stay really close to him, you can hit him, but I'm not going to risk it. Yeah, going left is a little safer with this guy. Yeah, there it is. That's the mark of calamity attack. It's a good opportunity to uh, heal up if you need to, though. Oh, look out. Alright, this is where he breathes fire straight down. He just gotta back off when he does that. There's nothing you can do. There. I like this. This is a good one to take advantage of. Cause he's pretty predictable. And he just he always turns around. Kind of a very predictable way. As long as you're far enough away from him. Yes. Yeah, that's a good attack. I don't like staying near his tail. I think it's dangerous because, it, yeah, he's tempted to do stuff like that. Now, if it's if you're fairly close to him already, then he'll probably pull out a different attack. Yeah, see. But if he does that kind of uh, the aerial swooping jump attack, uh, here's a good one to take advantage of, either for healing or for just getting away. Now see this one, I really like to use that to get a hit on him. Oh, he's doing the breath attack. This is pretty annoying. Yeah, he always starts it off by going to the right, kind of. See, it's always like that. So that's why I think most people suggest to go stick to the left when you're fighting him. 
Makes it a little easier to dodge. This one's a good... You can take advantage of that breath attack. You can run at him. If you know it's coming and you're to his left. Because he always sweeps it from right to left. There he goes. See? If he's uh, fairly close... Then he'll do a tail swipe afterwards. Like if he's kind of close to you. Otherwise he repositions. Now see, that's the worst thing about that. You gotta be careful. You don't want to get too close to him, because sometimes he'll hit you. Or he does that kind of like double head bite. Yeah, it's really hard to tell with that breath attack, the way it works. How far away you really need to get. Yeah, don't don't dodge that direction when he does that. And don't just sit there when he does his breath. Yep. I almost got him. I think we'll get him this time. Let's try it again. Oop. Yeah, at a certain point he's fairly predictable. No, he's not quite as... Like, damage-wise... He's not as bad as Artorius or Manus. He's not as aggressive and he doesn't have any abilities that are quite as bad as like the Manus one where he summons a bunch of balls or whatever they are, magic balls, and then has them go out to the edge of the arena and then come back in so they hit you from behind. That one's a pain. You really have to kind of like rethink your strategy for that one. Plus some of his magic attacks come out really fast. This guy's not as bad. He has a lot more downtime for his attacks. It's just getting to recognize when those times are. Oh, yeah. Wrong direction. Probably the scariest part about this guy is running to this situation. Where you need to heal. Trying to find the right opportunity to do it is probably the scariest thing about him. Ah, there we go. Yeah, run forward, me. That's an easy hit. But thankfully, he's nice enough not to freak out all the time if you start getting underneath his legs. Yep, yep, dodge forward. But don't stay there. A yeah, straight one, that's a good one to counter him. Of course, if he's too far away, then it can be a problem. And then, of course, you can do this as well. So there's actually two different directions you can hit him. They're pretty much easy hits. See, if you're too close to him, then that is the biggest issue, that tail. Frankly, I think his tail attacks are his worst abilities. Those are the ones you really want to avoid. He's got such a big, thick tail. Unless you've got, like, a really good dodging ability, it can be hard to dodge through it. Yeah, if you're a real man, you could get up there and attack that, but decide to wuss out. Yeah, whereas th those attacks are pretty easy to dodge through. Yeah, you can do this again. I cannot stress enough, don't get hit by that. It's very bad. Oh, run back. Yeah, if you're close to him, if you're decent enough, that works pretty well. Doing this again. This is easy to counter. Yep, see, he's just turning around, so that's easy. There, and I got him. And what kind of awesome reward do you get? Well, you get 
60,000 souls, which that's pretty good. And you get the Calamity Ring. This thing is basically just a big joke. It's like, what, what an awesome reward for all my hard work. Now, the Obsidian Greatsword is very cool, but I didn't bother getting it. I need an Obsidian Greatsword for you. Oh, a sweet club. All right, let's take a look at that ring. Just, yeah, you get double damage. That's it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, game. I just got Dark Souls. <laughs> All right, that's it for this one. Uh, I'm going to go in and finish up the last bosses of the game, and I'll see you guys later.